All right. Greetings, all. Thank you for returning to my channel. I'm Professor Nooney. Allow me to welcome you back to the Fight Night Champion Custom Boxer Bare Knuckle Tournament, the second edition. We are starting off Group B right now. We are going to have our first fight. That will be between Kratos, the God of War, and the Black Ronald McDonald. Um, we are going to have it starting off in, in uh, the Royal London Theater, as they had gotten first dibs on the contract as to where the venues, are, who will be the hosts for each of our fights. Uh, that being said, I will bring up the bracket right now. It should only show right now the entirety of Group B to show you where we currently stand. Right here we have Kratos, the God of War, versus the Black Ronald McDonald. I believe Ronald entered this tournament stating that he wants to win and take the earnings to hire a lawyer to sue the current Ronald McDonald, the one we all know, for copyright infringement. As he's saying that he took his trademark facial paintings, as I believe clowns are capable of trademarking or copywriting their faces and the patterns that they paint them with, and he profited off of that, made millions or billions. And because of that, he entered this tournament. And that is somewhat noble, not entirely sure of the legit legitimacy behind that, but that is outside of the scope of this tournament. Moving on in, in the second fight, that will be Rick Ross against Kanye West, two power, major powerhouses in the rap game. We'll have Kobe Bryant versus Chuck Liddell fighting. Both of these people coming from being tremendous in their own right from their own respective uh, sport that they were that they took part in. Not entirely sure if Kobe Bryant will take anything from basketball that he can t that he can bring into boxing. Chuck Liddell, on the other hand, a very successful MMA fighter, was UFC champion several times. Definitely has may have an easier time adapting to the style to the boxing martial arts. Uh, and then finally, we have another basketball player, uh, many consider the goat. Michael Jordan taking on Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump himself, known for his tremendous speed and his overall life accomplishments, but also was a respected athlete in his, in his college days. He played football, and I wonder if either of these fellows, former athletes, will be able to take anything from their past and bring into the boxing game. We will see that when we get there. We'll cross the bridge when we get to it. That being said, I do believe that the fighters are coming out of the locker room right now. Let's, here we are at the Royal London Theatre in London, England. Sold out crowd. As you can see from the tail of the tape, Black Ronald McDonald has a tremendous reach advantage. 88 inches against 77 and is slightly taller than Kratos. Kratos does not look bothered by that at all. Hailing all the way from Sparta, Greece. Crowd, it appears that they are indeed enjoying his presence. A, a fellow continent mate. But oh my, Black Ronald McDonald getting a huge cheer from the crowd, hailing all the way from Vancouver, Canada. It looks entirely focused, appreciates the cheers, but is definitely more focused on the fight itself. Referee telling him to keep it a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Start of round one, here we go. Oh, oh, these hooks immediately, about what the fighters are throwing out there. Trading shots. Relentless. Right at the beginning. Perhaps a foreshadowing of how the rest of this fight will go. Kratos missing with both of those uppercuts. Crowd is going crazy a little bit here. May not be favoring one fighter over the other, probably just want to view an overall great fight. I have a feeling that's what we're going to get tonight, and these men are just throwing tremendous, tremendous shots and connecting successfully. Each of them eating the other's power shots. Although there does appear to be a cut underneath the right eye of Kratos. I believe the mark under his left eye is from a, pre a scar from a previous fight, back when he was a ruler. Oh, what a body shot by Kratos. Referee's trying to keep his eye on things back there. Wondering if Ronald is gonna try to play keep away with his reach advantage. It doesn't appear to be so. 
wants to get in and end this quickly. Does not want this to go on for long. It's not keeping him back with one twos and jabs and straights. He's coming in with hooks and uppercuts. Ronald McDonald narrowly missing with that right hook. But we have less than 10 seconds left in the first round. Let us go to the corners. Let's go. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? Then let's get moving out there. Breathe. Deep breath. Good job. Deep breath. You're in control of this fight, but don't get careless out there. Keep boxing smart. You gotta watch the water. In the Much corner. better. Much better. Start of round two. You can see the trainers are giving their honest opinion about each of their respective fighters. Kratos being warned that he's not doing well. Ronald McDonald saying that he's winning, that he won the first round according to his trainer, but he takes a big left hand there, but returns the favor with an uppercut. Yeah, Kratos keeping in with that cross guard, or rather that Philly shell. Nice body shot by Kratos. Nice left hook by Kratos. Ronald will, will serve him well if he stays out of distance or out of reach from Kratos' short reach. And when Kratos, or rather Ronald, got a successful nice. left hand in there, he backed up and he gets hit him with an off uppercut. Kratos is stunned. That shot hurt him. That shot hurt him. He backed up right. He's backing up to the ropes. That uppercut did some damage. Kratos felt that. He seems to be okay now, but he was definitely rocked by that left uppercut. He definitely needs to watch them punches coming in. Perhaps getting a little too comfortable. He really got rocked. He seems to be okay now, but he doesn't appear to be as aggressive as before. Ronald's coming in now, feeling a little bit more comfortable, backing up Kratos to the ropes now, into the corner. Although Kratos is having some success trying to fight him off. Oh, these headshots by each fighter. Nice right hand and left uppercut by Kratos. Trying to seal the round at the end of it. Wonder if that did him well, if he was able to. Let's go to the corners. Beautiful, beautiful. I want another round exactly like that. This is all right, breathe. Good. Deep breath. Deep breath. Get some water in. There you go. You're good. You all right? You're okay, right? All right, start of round three. Kratos' trainer doesn't want to be too hard on him, saying you're just tell, letting him know you're all right, you're all right. You got rocked a little bit. Focus now. There's still plenty of fight left in you and in the actual fight. Kratos trying to anticipate some incoming leaps by Ronald, throwing out those preemptive uppercuts. Some connecting, most aren't. As a result, he is draining some of his energy. Although he does have Ronald within the corner now. I wonder if that if he'll be able to take advantage of this position. Ronald be able, looks like he was able to just fight his way out, circle around. That was a nice left hand by Ronald McDonald. Good body shot, good uppercut by Kratos. Nice left hand by Kratos. Another good left hand by Kratos to the body there. Ronald McDonald slowing down a little bit, backs up and is now caught in the corner. Although that hasn't really been dangerous for him, he has been able to fight his way out successfully each time. Catches Kratos with a good left hand there. Good left uppercut. These shots are definitely being traded extensively. Kratos blocking, guarding up. Trying to avoid those body shots. If it's one thing he hates, it's body shots, but he loves dishing them out. Less than 10 seconds left in round three. 
Looks like Ronald may steal it at the end here. Let's go to the corners. He's hooking to the body. Where's your hook at? Come on now. You're stronger than him. You need to hook to the body. Take some of his speed away. Let's go. This is yours. You hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep throwing points like that and keep throwing punches. Okay, keep boxing. All right, start of round four. Teddy Scorecards giving the first two rounds to Black Ronald McDonald, giving that third one to Kratos, surprisingly. I thought Ronald was able to steal that at the end there. Both of these fellows really weaving out of the way of each other's punches here. Is this the dodge round? Keep moving, keep moving. Watch the hook. Good uppercut. Oh, what a left hand by Kratos. Ronald trying to do these sort of peek out and peek in moves here. Backs up and tries to come in with the punch and then immediately escape. Kratos not biting on it. it appears Ronald may just have to come forward in full force. No feints, no, no leaps. Just march forward and take the fight head on. He's been doing that the last three rounds. Oh, that was a good uppercut by Kratos. That definitely backed up Ronald. He seems okay, though. Pace yourself. Kratos trying to go for those body shots like his trainer asked him, but not having a whole lot of success. Misses with that uppercut. Connects with the left one. Ronald still coming forward. Crowd cheering. Oh, he gets caught with a straight right. That wrecked Ronald. Ronald flew back to the ropes. That hurt him, definitely. It appears to be okay. Wow. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now. I just need you to focus. Keep your hands up and keep working that jab, okay? Double up the jab and keep moving. Oh, this is a wipeout. You're winning this fight. Just keep doing what you're doing, and you got this. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. You gotta watch the water in the corner. All right, start of round five. Tables have been, look like they are turning if we're following what the trainers are saying. Kratos' trainer very much satisfied with that last round. As Ronald did indeed get rocked and gets caught with the good right uppercut there. Ronald tried to keep Kratos away with those left hands. Kratos keeps coming forward. There is a cut below or very difficult to see. Could be below or above the right eye of Kratos, but he doesn't appear to be phased at all. That may not be having an impact on him as he is coming out very strong. Oh, he misses with the left uppercut there, or rather hook. Ronald able to lean out of the way of those straights. He is taller. Oh, what a good right hand by Kratos. Stopped Ronald in his tracks. Doesn't stop him completely. Nice little jabs. Trying to throw, show a little bit of showman, or rather, feints there. Kratos cutting off the ring, trying to keep Ronald in the corner. Fights his way out. Kratos against the ropes now. Very difficult to judge this round. It may indeed go to Kratos. Watch the hook. Coming up the end of round five. Both men look like they tried to steal it at the end there. Let's go to the corners. Looking good. Looking good. And he's tired. Look at him. He's so fucking tired. He's got nothing left. 
You gotta breathe. You got to breathe. All right? How you feeling out there? You know you're not winning this fight, okay? You're not winning. He's beating you. I need you to throw more than one punch out there, okay? All right, start of round six. We can definitely hear it in each of the trainer's tone there. Ronald's trainer at the beginning of this fight, first two or three rounds, he was definitely praising his fighter. As he stands now, he's saying he's not doing enough. He needs to throw more than one punch. Ronald has been rocked a couple times though, but so has Kratos. He did get caught with that uppercut a few rounds ago. Kratos looking for an opening. Kratos tries to weave his way in to avoid any kind of counter shots or keep away shots. Ronald's trying to circle and stay on the outside. He feels, looks like he feels comfortable there. Able to lean out of the way of that punch, but doesn't follow up with anything. Side to side. Good right hand by Kratos. Good right hand by Ronald. Nice straight there. Oh, nice one, too. Although Ronald's in the corner again. Left uppercut by Kratos connects. Not a lot of power behind it. Oh, a good left uppercut by Kratos. Every time he gets a good punch in and tries to pursue Ronald, Ronald fights him off. Whether he be on the ropes, in the corner, or in the center. Nice right hand by Ronald, though. Less than 10 seconds left in round six. This may be going to Kratos here. Let's go to the corners. You're losing this fight. You gotta pick it up, you hear me? You gotta pick it up. I don't know what to say. Just, 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 just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now, all right? It's, it's nice work out there. Just keep fighting smart. Keep busy. Don't take a break with this guy, you hear me? All right, start of round seven. Ronald's trainer telling him you are not winning this fight. Started out strong, you are sort of piffering out. Kratos' trainer, on the other hand, definitely happy. Although he's telling him don't ease up and Kratos is getting caught with some good shots here. Good right hand by Kratos. Good left hand, although they traded shots there. Kratos backing up now. Seems to be having a little bit of difficulty keeping his arms up. Kratos not showing a whole lot of kick in his step. He is taking huge deep breaths. He clinches as a result, needs a break. The crowd did not like that. Jump on him. Nice. He is the fan favorite. The crowd really on the side of Ronald. Gets caught with a big left uppercut though. Oh, what a good right hand by Kratos. That's what I want to see. Another good left hand, an uppercut that time. Kratos, or rather Ronald, backing up, keeping his guard up. These uppercuts are finding their mark. Less than 10 seconds left in the seventh round. Ronald not trying to seal anything, staying back. Let's go to the corners. Relax. Deep breath. Deep breath. That's it. Now listen. You are losing this fight. I need you to take some chances now. You gotta take some chances with this guy, all right? You got to. 
You have to take a water in the corner. Come on. You okay? Start of round eight, Teddy scorecards having the fight being won by Kratos by only one round, surprisingly. You would think he's down by three or four rounds if we went by Ronald's trainer, but that is a good motivator, so let the fighter think they're doing poorly or far worse than they are to try to get them to go for something a bit more risky, high risk, high reward type of strategy. I'm not sure if that's gonna work out in Ronald's favor. Oh, what an uppercut by Kratos. Ronald in the corner again, getting hit with some body shots. Clinches to prevent that. Hey, you gotta get some of that too now. Come on, let's go. Ronald looking extremely tired. Not sure how much he has left in the tank. One, two. Stuck One, in that two. corner. Kratos not letting him out. Ronald struggling to keep his arms up, struggling to even walk. Surprise body shot by Ronald. Able to sidestep some of these uppercuts. Ronald struggling to stay up. Although catches Kratos with the good uppercut, but that does not slow him down. Again, in the corner. While he does always find a way out, it's just quite interesting that Kratos is doing such a good job controlling the ring. He's constantly having Ronald backed into a corner and forcing him to fight and fight a way out. Less than 10 seconds left in round eight. Kratos taking, or rather Ronald taking huge breaths. Definitely one of that round. You just can't move around. You gotta move with your hands in there. Let them things go. No need to get excited. We came here to win, baby. Calm down. Okay, walk this guy down. Let the ring off and throw some counters. Every time he tries to throw that right. Here you go. Start of round nine. Ronald's trainer telling him to relax, man. Don't don't rush things. Although he took beforehand, he did tell him to start taking some chances. Oh! with the straight right. Kratos able to evade and lean out of that shot, follows up with an immediate right hand. Dodges the right hook and follows up with the tremendous right hand, knocks Ronald immediately down to the mat. Face down, is he going to make it up? Up at the count of five. Ronald back up really quick. Perhaps a flash knockdown. Wondering if Kratos is going to try to finish this. Keep moving, keep moving. Come on now. Oh, another knockdown! The same hand, a straight right, and the referee stops the fight. That is it. The referee has stopped the fight. That is it. That straight right took down Ronald again. He did get his hand in. Or rather, excuse me, that was a right hand. That was a wonderful hook right on his face. They traded shots. Kratos just had far more power behind it. The referee didn't even count. Immediately said, fight is over. Kratos, or rather, Ronald has not done enough to defend himself. Kratos, your victor. Crowd is cheering. Absolutely thrilled with this result. Well-earned victory. A knockout in the ninth round. Both knockdowns coming in round nine. The second one being the nail in the coffin. The referee said that is enough. Ronald was not winning this fight as, at all. He needed a knockout to win, and he did not get it. Kratos, on the other hand, all the effort he was putting in throughout this fight, those little jabs and those little body shots and making Ronald waste his energy, finally paid off in round nine where the first knockdown came, followed up with the second knockdown with the right hook, and that ended it. That ended it, so as always, with the knockout victory, the recipient, or rather the victor, gets a well-earned, well-deserved, glorious golden four points, which represents a knockout. If you haven't known at this point, then get with the program. This is the Fight Night Champion Custom Boxer Bare Knuckle Tournament, the first edition and second edition. Same rules apply. What a wonderful fight by Ronald. 
and Kratos. And as a result, he moves on to the semifinals where he will fight the winner between Rick Ross Hailing all the way from Miami, Florida, and Kanye West coming all the way from Chicago, Illinois. Really, really wondering who's going to have the title, or rather, not the title, but the victory coming off of that fight. And, and has the courage to take on Kratos, the God of War, especially after this performance. But that fight will happen another day. So as for now, thank you all to those who came to check out my video. And thank you all to those who came to check out this fight for watching this fight. I appreciate all the views and notoriety I can get. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and as always, take care, and God bless.